Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Um, today I've got another Bolo video from you. Um, today I'm going to show you stuff I bought at Ross. Um, you know, it's really slim pickings out there right now. All the toys have been picked through already. You know, I didn't really, I was looking for clothes. I didn't find any clothes um, at Ross. I didn't even find a bra. Um, I was able to find some stuff. I had to actually work pretty hard today and yesterday in order to fill up my SUV, which is um, hasn't been a problem for the last couple months, but it was kind of an issue today. I didn't do like Walmart or any place where I have my replans because I just wasn't buying any with where I was going today. Um, before I show you what I got for you, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Uh, the channel has been growing really well the past month or so, and I'm really pleased with the growth I've had. And I really want to see it continue growing so I keep helping more people. Those of you guys leaving feedback on uh, the comments, I really appreciate it. I've gotten some really good comments and really encouraging things. It seems I'm actually helping people with my channel, which is the goal. So I'm um, glad I'm able to help you guys out. So uh, I'm going to show you what I got today. I tried to get pretty well-rounded mixture of of things like I said I did look pretty hard at Ross today to find um, product so the first thing I have here is a Roblox set um, I love selling Roblox it sells extremely well I actually did a video oh it's been months now about selling Roblox toys on Amazon um, but yes this one here cost $15 you kind of tell the sticker was coming off a little bit so, um, yeah, I found two of these, and these were actually hidden. I wonder if someone was trying to get them later, like an employee, because they were on the top shelf behind things. You know, so it is important to move stuff out of the way, and kind of sometimes you really have to search for product. So this one here, you know, you see it costs $15. I believe that's $16.23 with my uh, tax rate here in California. It has a 52,000 sales rank with 49 four and a half star reviews and it's selling for $36.90. So it's a $10.23 profit. The net proceeds is $26.46. So um, if you guys see Roblox at the store, scan it. Um, not all of them are going to have um, a sales rank. So look at the reviews. Roblox sells very well. I've never had problems selling Roblox. I've had Amazon tank the price, but as far as it actually selling, I've never had an issue. But you don't worry about Amazon getting on this one because this one was, a, there it is, Target only exclusive. So exclusives also tend to sell really well on Amazon. So the next thing I got for you, and I really bought this, I like selling socks. Um, I sell socks I get from many stores. You know, they're lightweight and they sell really well. This one's Nike socks. Here, you can see it's a three dollars, so three twenty-five with my tax rate. Um, these kind of socks sell really well. I think these are soccer. People wear these mainly for soccer, but I sell a lot of these. I haven't found very many Nike socks lately, but when I do find them, I scan them right away. I probably sell a couple hundred um, units of Nike socks every year, but they are hard to come by at times. But this one's currently selling for $13.71 with the 3588 sales rank. So, um, you know, my net proceeds is going to be uh, $4.43 profit on a $3 purchase. You know, and these are easy. Just remove the label, stick it in a poly bag, and you're good to go. And it just fills up your box real nice, which I like. This one, I mainly bought this because... Again, like I say, if slim pickings, I would I just like to send stuff in, even if it's not like big profits. But uh, check, what how do you pronounce this? Infantino um, toys. They are hit and miss. Most of them are selling for like six, seven dollars and are not profitable. But this one is, um, you know, bought it for three dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, I'm showing you guys this one just to give you an idea. When it is slow, it's better to make. Like two dollars on a four dollar purchase, than to not make anything. Again, it's lightweight. It fills in the box. It won't take up too much space, which is things that I look for. Because again, if you sell grocery, 
your boxes are very heavy. So little things like this just kind of make the, the price of a heavy box a little bit easier to, to manage. So this one cost me $4.32 uh, with tax. All right, no, $4.28 with tax. $48.28 with tax. So let me type that in here. So the net proceeds is $6.89 with a $2.61 profit. It's more than 50% ROI. And again, I like selling little things like this. It's not the fastest of sellers with 86,000 uh, kids uh, are baby sales rank. This isn't under toys. This is under baby. And it has 71 reviews. It will sell. It will take a, probably a week or a couple weeks to sell. It's not going to move right away. But, you know, profit is profit. And whenever times are tough and there's not a lot of profit available in the stores, take what you can get. And then the last thing I got here is uh, a grocery item I got at Ross. So this here, Golden Girls Cookies, sometimes they sell good, sometimes they don't. I believe this brand is kind of mimicking Girl Scout cookies. But you see it's gluten-free. People will pay a premium for gluten-free food. And they do have a variety of products, this um, Goody Girls Cookies. And again, um, you know, this is just something to fill out the, the order because time's, you know, slow finding product. And this I found on clearance at Ross for 99 cents. If you can make that out on my camera. Um, this one here is sold as a three pack. So my cost is $2.97. Make sure you check the expiration date. This one barely makes it by a couple days, you know, but, um, you know, you always make sure you check the expiration date because you don't want to get stuck with the food. I actually do that more than I'd like to admit, and it's just um, candy for the kids to eat. <laughs> they, they like it when I mess up, but, you know, so the net proceeds is $8.33. So since it cost me $2.97, you know, food is not taxable in California, so I don't have to pay any sales tax. So my net profit is $5.36. You do have to put these in a poly bag with um, the other two boxes. I, they had only three boxes, luckily. You know, uh, I recommend getting a, uh, like stickers if you're going to sell food bundles. It says, do not separate, sold as a bundle or a unit or whatever. Uh, I forget what my stickers say. You know for stuff like this but if you put it in one poly bag usually you're okay I only had one time where I didn't put stickers on in Amazon opened up everything and it was a big mess that cost me hundreds of dollars to square that one away you know but the sales rank on this is 7,105 this will sell the day it's available for purchase 966 reviews you know so this was this was a good find and I just found it waiting in line at the by the registers, you know, because Ross does like a zigzag like that to get you in. I always scan all the food there. I usually don't find much. But every once in a while, I'll find $5, 6 profit here and there. So um, that's what I've got for you guys today. Um, it looks like the Christmas rush is over online. My sales have dropped by about half as they were a week ago, which was to be expected. You know, there's shipping delays everywhere, so nobody's buying very much more Christmas stuff because it's just not going to arrive in time. But, um, you know, keep your head up. Keep sourcing. Um, I'm not going to stop. Um, I'm not going to put out a Bolo video next Sunday. I'm actually going to Florida, I think, in like 9 or 10 days. So I'm going to be busy packing, and my kids come home from their moms on Saturday. So I'm going to be doing Christmas with them next weekend and all that good stuff. Um, I haven't decided I'm going to keep doing Bolo videos through, you know, going forward on Sundays because the next month or so it's going to be pretty rough with the store scene. You know, things usually pick back up after Valentine's Day as stores start getting their, their summer gear in. You know, so the next month and a half is kind of rough. If you're having a hard time finding product, get out there start searching for wholesalers and stuff. That's what I'm going to be doing on top of my regular sourcing starting getting ready for your taxes. I've already gone through, I think, seven months worth of shrink. And actually, I got I found a bunch of stuff that Amazon lost, and I was able to submit receipts, and I got reimbursed like $500 the other day. 
which was great. But, you know, get ready for tax time. That's what you guys should be working toward right now. So thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Have a good day.